Pulse width modulation is used in a lot of application. As you see this application is DC motor drive. To control your DC motor speed, In this video we will learn how to use pulse width modulation. Using timer 555 IC to make this DC motor speed controller. Let's see. Components. The main component timer 555 IC. Potentiometer. 2 1 microfarad capacitors, 2 diodes, resistor 1000 ohm, breadboard and 12 volt DC power supply. Now we will learn more about what is pulse width modulation. If you want to know more about timer 555 you can see this video. Pulse width modulation is a type of signal which can be produced from a digital IC such as microcontroller or 555 timer. In our case pulse width modulation is controlling the duty cycle of the pulse train output of timer 555. But what is the duty cycle? First you must to know the on time and off time. On time is the signal high voltage of square wave as you see. Off timer is the signal low voltage of square wave as you see. Now you can understand duty cycle. It is the percentage of time in which the PWM signal remains high on time, is called as duty cycle. So duty cycle equals turn on time slash, turn on time plus turn off time. As you see the following image represents a PWM signal with 50% duty cycle. As you can see, considering an entire time period, on time plus off time, the PWM signal stays on only for 50% of the time period. After understanding the duty cycle, now the pulse width modulation is controlling the duty cycle. As you see in this photo this pulses is modulated. And this is the expected output we must see on oscilloscope. The duty cycle and frequency of a PWM signals are often confused upon. So we put two oscilloscope videos that show the difference between them. Connections First add timer 555 IC. Now we will connect VCC pin 8 and reset pin 4 to positive voltage. And ground pin 1 to ground. Connect the two capacitors long terminals to pin 5 and pin 6. And short terminals to ground. After that we will connect pin 7 to positive voltage through 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will connect potentiometer metal pin to threshold pin 6 and trigger pin 2. After that we we connect the 2 diode as you see in circuit. Connect your 12 volt DC power supply. The output pulses will be on pin 3. We will measure it using our oscilloscope. Let's try. As you see on oscilloscope, we can control the duty cycle. So the circuit is working. And we can use it now to control or DC motor speed but there is small component will be added to circuit. DC motor speed control? Let's add BD139 NPN. We will connect it as you see in the circuit. Base pin 3 to output pulses. Emitter pin 1 to ground. Collector pin 2 to motor terminal.
The other terminal of motor will be connected to positive voltage. Let's try. As you see when we use the potentiometer. The speed is changed. Thank for watching. In the next video we will learn how to produce PWM by using external Tringle wave. See you there.